daycare school of our students, which is the St. Monica Parish. Uh, Happy St. Patrick's Day! I am uh, somewhat in green, green shirt, green t-shirt, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, early spring or uh, late uh, winter, and so the trees aren't exactly green, but at least I've got a couple of pine trees and some rhododendrons behind me trying to make this thing as green as possible. So what can St. Patrick teach us, or what can we glean from some Celtic spirituality? Uh, first thing is, uh, what did St. Patrick teach us was about the importance of prayer extremely prayerful guy St. Patrick's breastplate he was a, a con, he was a composer of various prayers and he basically told us that if we enter into the prayer process God will use that to shape us and will also help shape our pathway even though we might not feel it and even though we may not see it uh, second thing thinking of a pathway if you look at the history of St. Patrick uh, it was not a, a, a straight ahead path. Um, his journey was all over the place, uh, several continents, countries, experiences, etc., etc. And so the second thing that St. Patrick had talked to us is about it's all in God's time. Uh, the path is never straight and it is certainly never easy. And so if you're going through a really rough Lent right now, uh, you're probably doing things right rather than doing things wrong and God is going to use that to kind of form you a little bit, strengthen you a little bit, uh, and try and use that experience, even though it might feel negative, uh, to basically help other people and help form them as well. Uh, the third thing that St. Patrick uh, teaches is answer the call. God wants you not to just be, uh, a, a, he does not want you to be a spectator. He wants you to be a player in the game. And uh, there's an, uh, uh, one of the challenges that we face, especially with what I'll call suburban Catholicism, is the tendency for people to come and, and see this as a spectator sport. I come on Sunday, I sit in the pew, I listen to the music, and then I go and do my job, be a dad, be a mom, whatever it is. And you know, what St. Patrick says is, no, no, you've got to get in the spiritual game here. Uh, the world depends on it. It is a life and death issue. And, uh, and therefore, when God calls you, and he's going to call you to serve him in some specific way as an apostle, we have to answer that call. If we don't answer that call, we will never be totally fulfilled, and there will always be something pushing back against you. You'll feel it. There's an entropy to your life, uh, or there's a lack of energy, or there's a lack of vibrancy, because God is calling you to something, and we need to answer that call. And the third thing, um, well, what do I do? Uh, use what you're given. Uh, Moses uh, is, is talking to God and he, Moses says, well, what am I supposed to do? You know, I'm, I'm nothing special. And, and God says, well, what's in your hand? He goes, well, a staff. Okay, Moses, throw it on the ground. He throws it on the ground, it becomes a snake. Uh, and that staff becomes the same thing that kind of influences Pharaoh uh, it is the thing that Moses uses to bring water from the rock. It is the thing that Moses uses to split the Red Sea. So you might not think that you have talents or gifts or whatever. So what does God say? He says, all right, look, you have something there in your hand. What is it? What have you been given? Use that. Start there and, uh, and see where the Lord takes you from there. Uh, some great spirituality as we celebrate uh, the St. Patrick's Day. It is amazing how many things are green or made green for St. Patrick's. There is green beer, there is green porridge, there are green cigars, there are green everything. I mean, it's really, it's just kind of a, a little crazy, I think. But look, I'm not Irish. I'm from Slovakia, and we don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day there as far as I know. Uh, but here in America, and at St. Monica, uh, you know what, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tip a glass uh, to the, the, the great Celtic saint and on the wonderful holiday that it is and all the fine Irish people out there. Wish you a great St. Patrick's Day and God bless.